Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna take you guys along to our balcony makeover process. I wanted to share with you how I bring my vision to life and also include the planning, design, DIYs and decorating. The balcony is the first space that I'm making over in our new home because the summer season is here and I wanted it to be a space that we can fully utilize. If you're not subscribed to my channel, now is the right time because I have so many room makeovers and organization videos planned so do subscribe to my channel and now without any further ado, let's jump into the video. I already measured the whole space a few days ago and I think this is really an essential step in any makeover. We need to get a complete idea of the space in order to design it and make it most functional. I started the prep by clearing the whole space out. We didn't really bring much from our old home, just a few plants and an old rug so it was really quick. Now that it's all here, let me walk you through the space. As we enter, here's the left side. We have an overall width of 5 feet here and then over here in this smaller space we have a little less than 4 feet I guess because of these pillars and the same thing on the other side as well. So overall we're working with like a 12 feet wide and a 5 feet long balcony so I'm thinking to divide it into 3 areas. I think I'll designate this little corner for the plants and I have some cool ideas to create like an accent wall here and over here by the window could be our seating area and over here on this side I could put another chair here for extra seating but that may make it a little tight coming in and out of the door so I kind of want to keep this area a little open for now and see what we can do here. Alright, so that's the space we're working with and here's how I plan out this transformation. I gathered a lot of ideas on Pinterest. I knew I wanted a modern design style so when I looked for inspiration, these black modern chairs came up a lot. They look so good both with greenery and with neutral colors so I decided on these chairs. Now to carry in boho, I looked for jute rugs. I really like these geometric pattern ones and this one on Wayfair was good but I like this one more. It looks perfect with the black furniture and on the concrete floor so I went with this rug. Now that I've selected the large pieces of furniture, I could build the rest of my mood board around these. I always loved seeing Buddha statues nestled in plant gardens so I decided to recreate a mini zen garden by the accent wall and all around the balcony we're going to add lots of plants in a variety of ways and fun planters. In the end of course we're going to add some pillows, lights and cute accents. And the color palette is looking good so far and the mood board is looking modern, functional and calming and I'm super excited to get out there and get started. Over here in this area, I want to hang some planters up from the ceiling and put some flowy plants in them. When I first saw this patio from our living room, this was the first thought that came to my mind. Angela from Angela Rose Home actually did this and when I saw it, I absolutely loved it. It was so refreshing and unique. These are the planters I plan to hang. I got them on Amazon. I originally planned to hang them over here in the center but because there's a ceiling light, I don't want to drill any holes around it so I'm planning to use this beam here on the side to hang them. The planters did come with their own hardware but because I'm not hanging them from the ceiling, I'm just going to use these regular 1 inch nails. The round planters are actually a set of two and the middle one is slightly longer and has a different shape so it's going to be perfect for creating variation in heights. After hanging them, go ahead and adjust them to different heights and also space them out so that they don't bump into each other. These hanging planters are super pretty and so whimsical when they move and especially these gold ones, they just bring a touch of metal and glamour to this corner and obviously love the green element up there. And the best part is that you can enjoy these plants both from the balcony and from the living room. It 
it's day two of the balcony makeover and the last thing that i did yesterday was to assemble these chairs i got this three-piece bistro set in dark gray from target i'll link it in the description below the chairs were really easy to assemble and don't worry about these rugs they're just temporary my actual rug has not been delivered yet but um anyway this set also comes with a small side table and look how pretty these chairs are. They're super lightweight and made of rope and they fit flawlessly in this space. Now let's work on this area. By this back wall is where I want to create like a plant garden down here and up here I wanted to create some collage with plants and I was looking for a lot of inspiration and I came up with this idea of creating like a succulent wall art with some baskets. So let me show you the baskets. These baskets are hand woven and made of sea grass and I love how breezy and calming they look in this space. They come in a set of three and yeah this is the succulent arrangement I was talking about earlier so let's see how to make that using these two baskets. I took a piece of foam and started attaching it to the basket using a jute thread. I basically just ran the thread in and out of the foam and through the basket like so several times from all sides and finally tied the ends on the back. Next I was deciding on how to position these succulents. I started by placing the larger ones in the center and filled in the gaps with the smaller pieces. Before inserting them I'm going to cover up the foam showing through the gaps with green moss as you see here and glue it down. You can also spray paint it green before you start. After adding moss, go ahead and insert the succulents as you had planned. I used artificial plants here because they are lightweight and they don't make the baskets lose their shape. Um, I also made sure the arrangement looks lush and full by adding lots of texture, various hues of green and height. As you can see, it's a super hot day today so I think I'll hang these baskets tomorrow. Let's step inside and quickly DIY some planters for the plant garden. The idea here is to create a wall planter where I can put some plants or succulents. We're going to need these small crates and a piece of wood. These are all from dollar store. The plan is to stack them like so slightly off center or you can also place them in the center. Use a level to identify where the planters should go, then apply wood glue in the marked position and place one crate first. Hold it tight for a while and then add some heavy weights. Once it dries, repeat the same process for the second crate. After they are fully dry, you can stain them or spray paint them. You can add a hook on the top or also directly stick it to the wall using command strips. Next, I want to upcycle this 5 inch planter that I have. It has these sun shapes that I'm not a huge fan of. So I'm planning to cover it up using this backer rod, which is basically a foam pipe that looks like this. The plan is to create a dupe of these super popular fluted western planters. Um, to accomplish this look, I'm cutting the foam in half like so to create half round dowels. Start attaching each piece to the planter horizontally like so using hot glue and covering up half of the planter. After you're done, trim and glue down all the edges of the horizontal pieces and now it's time to glue in the vertical pieces. While doing that, if you find any gaps between the foam, you can use some joint compound to fill them up or also use it at the end to smooth out all the edges. Once we are done attaching the foam all around to give it a stone texture, I first spray painted the planter with stone spray paint and after that gave it two coats of a basic white spray paint. At the end, this is how I styled the planter and you'll see me using it later in the video. Another upcycle I'm doing next is pre-painting this shiny copper color planter to this dark green color that I really like. So down here is where I'm going to put all my plants but I wanted to take this area a step further. I'm planning to incorporate a few zen elements and create a zen garden like corner here and the three essential elements that I'm trying to bring in to create a zen space are some plants, some water element and some stones. And for stones, I was thinking of these white pebble stones and I found this bag of white stones at Home Depot. It was only $10 for a 30 LB bag. 
The rocks are really cute and they come in different sizes like here's a small one and here's a big one and the plan is to lay them here in this corner. And then here's my favorite part, this Buddha statue, it's actually a water fountain and it looks like it's made of stone so it's perfect. It actually came with some sand colored pebbles that go over here but I'm gonna switch them up to white ones to match our color scheme. I also got the statue in another color as well but I feel like it blends into my wall color in the back whereas the grey one creates a nice contrast and looks more relaxed so I think I'll go with the grey one. To place the fountain at a height, I got this side table slash garden stool. I really liked its shape and design but the blue color not so much but I couldn't find anything in white so I'm spray painting it with heirloom white color spray paint. I gave it two coats and let it dry overnight. This is the last day of the makeover and I'm super excited about today because this is where it all comes together. I'm gonna set up the zen corner, all of the DIYs that we made and all the plants and accessories I've collected for this makeover. Behind me you can see that I've already started working on the wall basket so let's start with that. The walls in my balcony are actually cement textured so I can't drill holes and I found these hook and loop strips by Velcro that are great for exterior use. So all you do is join two strips together, peel the sticker off of one side and stick and press that side to the basket. Peel the stickers off the other side of the joint strip and stick the baskets to the wall. Put lots of pressure and press on the areas where there's tape to secure them to the wall. These baskets are super lightweight and are a great renter-friendly decor option as well. They bring a modern boho vibe and I'm super in love with this wall art because it looks really cute and aesthetic. Next, I'm bringing in our zen corner elements. Before adding the white pebbles though, I laid a plastic cover as a base just in case to avoid any stains or any kind of deposits forming on the floor. I then positioned the stool in the center and spread out the white pebbles on both sides. Now let's add the Buddha fountain. This is going to be such a cute addition to the space. Here's how this corner is looking. It's already so beautiful even before adding the plants. The white pebbles blend in really well with the garden stool color and make such a nice contrast with the Buddha statue. Moving on to the plants now, here are all of my plants. I opted to add some artificial plants to the mix because I'm still figuring out what other plants I should get that require low maintenance. So far we have three succulents and some flowering plants and this jasmine plant is my favorite. I'm super excited to have that. And then over here I have all of my pots and planter collection. I have collected them in such a way that they're all either black or white or in these super cute shades of terracotta or match the bohemian vibe. While I repot some of these plants, do let me know in the comments what other plants I should get for this summer and what's your favorite plant from your plant collection. Now let's start arranging the plants in our zen corner. I'm using this boho planter. Um, this is actually a trash basket from Target. I'm gonna use it as a planter for my palm tree. I'm also using plastic bowls to add height. And once I'm done with the plants, I cut the excess plastic and shape the pebbles around the stool. You can also create a design with them and then we should be done. You don't need a ton of space to make your balcony into a full backyard. Just think outside the box and look for smaller versions of the aesthetic elements that will work for your space. I really like the transformation of this corner. Let me know in the comments what you think. Next up we have this blank railing here. For this area I wanted to repurpose this wire basket slash holder and turn it into a small railing planter. But before I do that, I wanted to spray paint it black. Uh, so I gave it two coats of this ultra matte black spray paint. After it dried down, I attached it to the railing using these 14 inch black zip ties and added aloe vera and string of pearls to it. 
now it's finally time to decorate our main seating area luckily my rug just came in today it looks and feels really nice then i really love the geometric pattern on this it also absolutely matches the wall baskets and takes your eye up to the accent wall Next, I'm bringing the chairs back and behind these chairs, I want to hang this wall planter we made yesterday. I went ahead and spray painted it black and put some fake plants in it. As finishing touches, I'm just adding a couple of cushions from Target. I selected these terracotta color cushions for a pop of color and texture to the seating area and they also match my planters. I'm keeping this side table quite minimal so that there's plenty of room for us to set up our coffee on these so it'll just be this simple vase and this bubble vase I DIY'd in my previous videos. Over here on the right side, I thought this railing was an ideal spot to hang some herbs so I got these herb planters from Michaels. These came with handles but looks like they won't fit on my railing here so I'm gonna remove the hooks, plant some herbs and then attach them using zip ties. This area here gets just the right amount of sunlight because of the pillar beside it so I'm actually setting up two of these planters here. I also really liked how clean these planters look against the black railing and make the greenery really pop. Moving over to this side where we first started. As I mentioned earlier, I don't want to crowd this area with like large items. I kind of want to leave it empty and have some negative open space here. So I'm only going to add this skinny lemon tree over here. All right, guys, I'm just going to repot this lemon tree, hang some lights and reveal the space to you guys tomorrow. It's my favorite segment of this makeover. It's finally time to reveal the space. But before I do that, let me show you how the balcony looked like before. It was mainly just blank and empty and mainly just gray. And now we've added so much color to it, so many DIYs and so many plans. I absolutely love how it turned out. So let me show you how it looks like now. We have transformed it into a space filled with color, texture and lots of plants and I cannot wait for all the cozy evenings we'll have out here this summer. One of the main features of this balcony makeover was this accent wall. I love the wall basket decor. It was such an easy DIY and it just changed the look of the balcony to boho instantly. Creating a small zen space like so is such a fun way to improve your outdoors and bring calm to your space. Get creative with your potting by embracing a variety of planters, tiered, fluted and textured. There are so many DIYs out there and go ahead and put them in every corner. I find plants add more than a visually pleasing aesthetic. They provide texture, movement and freshness to any space, be it indoors or outdoors. And finally, these chairs with the coffee table are super comfortable. I really love the boho design on the cushions along with the jute drug. I think they add a nice pattern and texture. It honestly turned out way better than I had imagined in the end. Nothing in this makeover was structural and there's also nothing in here that's permanent. So you can totally apply the same design if you're renting. You can brighten up any balcony from basic to super cute, even a teeny tiny one with pretty cushions, a pattern rug and one pretty pot at a time. So I hope this video gave you some ideas to redecorate your outdoor space. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of this video was and also which DIY you liked the best. If you recreate any of my ideas, do share them with me on my Instagram. It's have a cup of joe with underscores in between and also subscribe to my channel if you want to stick around for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.